Hello, my friends. I'm going to show you um, workflow process of the setting, the lighting and the little studio for jewelry shots. And it's a little bit unusual from what I used to do before. Uh, this will be for... First, it will be for my good friends who... and for my wife, actually. Uh, they got this uh, hobby of creating uh, custom-made, handmade beads. I'm talking about this pieces of jewelry, right? You see, it looks pretty nice, I guess. You know, to expose your work, you need to have a good photography. So, I'm going to first create a setup using professionally using professional equipment, like uh, this technical camera combo. Uh, with medium format back, uh, with uh, strobe lighting, soft boxes, grids, whatever I need. It will be the first uh, piece of the workflow I'm going to show you. And then I'm going to create uh, exactly, or maybe even better, images using completely non-professional stuff. I will be using the fluorescent bulb from construction store, just actually regular household lighting. I will be using paper, I will be using some other very inexpensive stuff like uh, cardboards. Well, nothing specific, nothing professional, even though professional using about the stuff. And the idea is to create the whole setup so other people can use it without spending a lot of money uh, to hire a photographer because in many situations they don't have such money. It should give them ability to create uh, professional-looking images of the of the aircraft. So that's the idea. I'm recording this video not after the photo session, but before. So uh, many ideas which I have in mind when I will start working on them, they probably won't go well. Maybe I'll switch to something else. I mean, on, in terms of how I gonna do this shot. But uh, this is real stuff, and I want to show you the real work, the real workflow with all the errors, uh, all the changes of route, how to get the result. Because uh, this is how I work, and uh, I want to show it to you, right? So first, we'll start with professional camera, expensive professional lighting and professional light modifiers. And once I got my image, and it will be approved by the client, meaning my wife and her friends. Once I got uh, what they asked me for, then I will start building a completely non-professional lighting setup, studio setup for them. So they can use it by their own, go to construction store and build a little tabletop setup and still produce professional looking results. And I'm going to prove that this is possible. It's completely possible to use very non-expensive, non-professional equipment and get professional results. Specifically for web portfolio, because that's what we're talking about. It, maybe on a big prints, it won't be as good as the images uh, composed by uh, medium format camera, camera, but we're not talking about big prints or even brochures. For now, it's web. We need, they need a web presentation, great web presentation for their handcrafted products. So that's the whole idea of uh, this kind of tutorial. Okay, so the first step is to create table, right? The shooting table will be non-professional. There is no reason for me to bring that huge Manfrotto shooting table I have. And in fact, little and narrow table like this will look better, uh, will work better than a uh, big Manfrotto one. Because uh, here it's easier to get lighting closer to the subject. With big table, it's not that always easy to do, right? So, the idea is amazingly simple. This is translucent 
plastic. It's white, it's semi-transparent. When you position it like this and uh, have lighting coming from the front or sides, it's white. If you have uh, light from behind, it will be semi-transparent, so we can kind of add colors. But we don't need any colors for now, we just need white made shooting table. Uh, use your chair, just get a chair and uh, fix the top of the plastic on your chair and fix the bottom on, let's say, another chair or a little table, uh, coffee table like I have. This is your shooting table. Easy, right? Uh, okay, so we got our set, set up ready. It's kind of initial setup with only one light source. You see three box from this side. We got the camera uh, right here, about 45 degree. And the uh, front element from started is a little bit tilted because this is technical camera and uh, I can adjust uh, independently the rear standard in and front. And because we have this angle, I need to have focus plane to be basically like this, not like it's supposed to be in parallel with sensor, right? So I tilted the lens and it did the same with focus plane. So with only one light source on the side, if you do a shot, let's see what will happen. While the whole piece doesn't look bad, I mean, it's basically pretty nice, but uh, you see that uh, gradient and uh, shadow on the light left side, because there is nothing here, right? We have only light, one light source. Yeah. So to make the ground more even, I'm going to add this. It's cardboard, right? It's just cardboard from any office supply store. And uh, it's supposed to reduce shadows from on the left of the our composition. Let's do our shot. And you see the result is is this. So to compare to this one or that one. The whole piece is a little bit softer. So let's move forward. Let's see what uh, we can do to improve it. If it needs to be improved. Okay. Uh, what we got now is this. Uh, I've added one more light source, uh, which is grid, 15 degree uh, honeycomb grid on the standard reflector on Paul buff light on Einstein. And uh, the idea is to add little sparks on the our games and uh, reflective glossy surfaces on the knuckles and uh, to add the drama to the picture by creating a little bit of shadows. So let's see how it works. Now, if we look at the picture we got at full size, You see, there are two light sources visible. One is softbox on that side, and the spotlight from that side. Let's say it's visible right here. And uh, there are also shadows. Actually, it's double shadows, but I like the way it looks. If we look at the previous setup, with a uh, reflector on the left and softbox on the right. It's a little bit softer. Again, it's probably a matter of uh, personal preferences. Both uh, styles look pretty good to me, but uh, like I said before, I like to add a little bit more drama and a little bit more contrast on the picture. Uh, it's always good. Okay, so we're done with this. Uh, next uh, step is to recreate the similar setup so I can get similar or even better result by using uh, just some simple camera, household lighting, uh, paper, plastic, uh, just 
probably one one hundred dollar worth of uh, equipment. So you can guys do the same at your homes and get same results, hopefully. Okay.